Okay, so we've been working through some st uh, stoichiometry calculations, and now we're going to talk about limiting and excess reagents. I'm going to use a very simple analogy of making cheese sandwiches. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is write our chemical equation for how to make a cheese sandwich. So a cheese sandwich is going to take two pieces of bread plus one slice of cheese, and that will yield us one sandwich. So now we're going to look at this chemical equation that we've written out, look at the um, reactants that we have, and determine what are our limiting and excess reagents. Now before we can do that, we have to know what a limiting and ex or excess reagent is. So your limiting reagent is going to be the reactant that um, you don't have enough of, that you run out of. Um, whenever you're making your product, in this case our sandwiches. So we're going to run out of one of our two reactants first, either our bread or our cheese. The excess reagent is going to be the reactant that we have more than enough of. So at the end, we're going to have some of this left over. So first of all, we have to figure out how many sandwiches we can make, and then we need to figure out which one of our two reactants, our bread or our cheese, limits us to making that number of sandwiches and which one we have in excess at the end. Now we have to keep in mind that either of these two things, these reagents, have to be reactants, meaning that it has to be either your bread or your cheese. It's not going to be sandwiches. Okay, that's a product. So let's take a look at how many sandwiches we can make. Okay, we have right now six pieces of bread and four slices of cheese. I'm going to focus on one of these at a time. So just looking at our six pieces of bread, if I have six pieces of bread and more than enough cheese, then with six pieces of bread, if it takes two pieces of bread to make one sandwich, then I'm able to make three sandwiches which I'm sure you could have done without actually writing out the dimensional analysis, but I'm just showing you because later on whenever we do this with different chemicals, it's going to make more sense if we're writing it like this now. So six pieces of bread is able to yield us three sandwiches. And that will be the most number of sandwiches we can make, assuming we have enough cheese to make three sandwiches. So let's look now at our cheese. We have four slices of cheese here. So we need, for each sandwich, you need to have at least one slice of cheese. So I'm going to put my cheese down here, and that one slice of cheese will make us one sandwich. Which means that with four slices of cheese, we're able to make four cheese sandwiches. All right, so now we have to figure out what our maximum product is. Okay, we're obviously trying to figure out how many sandwiches we can make. And you might want to say that the most we can make is four sandwiches because it's the bigger number. But you have to ask yourself, do I have enough cheese for this? Do I have enough bread for this? Obviously, we have enough cheese. That's what this calculation was for. But do you have enough bread to make four sandwiches? If we look back up at our bread, we had six pieces, and six pieces was only able to make us three sandwiches, which means we can't make four sandwiches because we don't have enough bread. So what that tells me is the maximum amount that I'm able to make with the reactants that I have is three sandwiches. That's my maximum product. That also tells me my limiting reagent. The reason why I'm only able to make three sandwiches rather than making four is because I don't have enough bread to make four sandwiches. I run out of bread. So bread is my limiting reactant. It's the rea uh, reagent, it's the reactant that I run out of. So my limiting reagent in this case is going to be my bread. Which means my excess reagent, if I make three sandwiches, I use all my bread, but my excess reagent, my cheese, I have four slices of. So after I make three sandwiches, I'm still going to have some cheese left. Your, remember, your excess reagent, just like your limiting reagent, has to be one of your reactants. So if it's not bread, it has to be cheese. 
Okay, so that's how you figure out your limiting and excess reagents. The only other thing you have to be able to do now is calculate how much cheese is left over. Now in this example, it's really easy. You can see that if you make three sandwiches because you have four slices of cheese, you're only gonna have one left over, but it's not gonna be that easy whenever you're looking at more complicated examples with chemicals um, and you know molar mass and things like that. So let's just take a look real quick. We're gonna work it out as if we didn't know already in the same way you'd have to work it out later. Okay, so because I know that the bread is my limiting reactant, I know that my bread is gonna get used all the way to make these three sandwiches. So I'm gonna start with my bread and I'm gonna figure out if I use six pieces of bread, because I know I'm gonna use six pieces of bread, how many slices of cheese do I use? So I have to look at my bread and my cheese. Okay, I have, um, for a sandwich you need to have two slices of bread and you need to have one piece of cheese. So you take the ratio of bread to cheese that you have up here from your chemical equation and this is going to be six times one which is six divided by two which means three slices of cheese. So in order to make three sandwiches, I need three slices of cheese, which I already knew because that's a very simple number to work with. Okay, but that's not my answer to the amount of excess that I have remaining. This just tells me how much I had to use. So I had to use three slices of cheese. I started with four. So four slices of cheese minus what I used, three, leaves me with one slice of cheese remaining. This is the amount of excess reagent one slice of cheese.